Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with our overwintering bin for a uh, overdue update. So I wanted to open the lid, take a peek in here, see what's going on. And I have some plans today to uh, add some insulation to see if we can get this warming up. So I will show you why I'm concerned. I have this deep down in here and it's not even reaching 50. So I think I need to up my game. So I'm going to pull this stuff out. And it is nice and, and moist in here. There's a little bit of a shadow, I'm sorry. But I wanted to see if we have any worm activity in here anywhere or if they're just too cold to do anything. There's a European Nightcrawler. You can tell because of his ribbing, his length, and the large clitellum. And there's a Red Wiggler there as well. Or that might be another Euro. It's another Euro. So, let me see. Really wet. But look at this nice big guy. I was not expecting to see a whole lot going on so I'm really excited about that because despite the temperatures it must be staying at least warm enough. We'll dig around here a little bit more. It's not as wet down below so um, I wonder if the condensation is rising a bit. It's definitely damp down here in the bottom, but some of these leaves are still really dry. Okay, let's see. Yeah, some of this stuff is just really dry, so we'll have to mix some more stuff in today. Um, but like I said, I'm really pleased. I was really worried that I wasn't going to see anything going on. But there is some action. It looks like they might be reproducing too. I mean, that's a really large clitellum there. So um, all of that's quite encouraging to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside, get some of this insulation that I got, and um, we're going to add that around the bin, and we're going to add some food today, and see if we can get this um, warming up a bit so we can get even more action over the winter and more composting going on in here. But um, the good news is that there is worm activity. even more in here and so at least thus far we have not killed anything off so I'm gonna move my lid over here to hold these pieces in place so they don't blow away while I get everything organized and uh, we'll see what we can do get this fed up and um, try to continue on with the experiment it is uh, like 40 some degrees right now and it's supposed to warm up because we're gonna get a whole bunch of rain tomorrow um, but then I think it's supposed to cool off and we might even get snow by like the 3rd or the 4th of January. So um, we're going to see what we can do. So let me go grab some insulation and we'll take it from there. So I found my piece of celery. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a cocoon actually laid in the little ridge there. Super encouraging. All right. Sorry, getting distracted. Let me uh, grab the insulation. Okay guys, so I got this stuff called, I think, Reflex, Polar, Ref I don't know. I'm going to link it down below. It was recommended by one of my subscribers who lives in southeast Pennsylvania, which is a little north of me. Um, he said he uses it around his bins and it works really well. So I cut several sheets that are going to um, be able to be wrapped around the bin. And I'm going to just bungee cord them around. Um, I like it. It's super lightweight. You can cut it with regular kitchen scissors. Jeez, guys, I'm tired. Um, but I also have a bag of coffee grounds. I'm not going to feed all of them. 
um, an orange. I put some eggshell in here and some volunteer worms. And I have a special treat. I have a small pumpkin. So um, I'm going to get to the insulation wrapped around this um, and then I'll bring you guys back and we will um, add these volunteers and see if we want to add some leaves as well. But this is going to be kind of my effort to get these guys warm and working. I want to break this up a little bit, break into it. There we go. That way they'll be able to get to it quickly. All right, let me wrap this bin up and I'll come back and show you what's going on. Okay guys, so I wrapped this insulation all the way around the bin, but I did leave it slightly loose at the bottom where our air holes um, are down here, just so that it can continue to breathe from the bottom. But I'm hoping that the insulation around the middle will keep our middle area um, really nice and warm. And I took it all the way up just below our top level because we have more air holes. And I can always change this later, but for now I'm going to see if this is enough. I really like to keep this bin at like, I don't know, 50 degrees at, at least, at the minimum. So this is going to be my um, next attempt to see if we can keep this bin warm enough for these guys to survive the winter. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a handful of the alfalfa meal. Um, this tends to heat up a little bit. It's a food source for the worms. And I'm seeing if this is, might help us heat up along with the large feeding of the pumpkin. Probably don't want to cover my thermometer there. And now I'm going to take this pumpkin. Dig a little trench in the middle because of course you want the middle ideally to be the warmest spot so that the worms can kind of congregate in there and stay warm. And I did bust it open a little bit. I actually might do it a little bit more, so let's see. That's therapeutic. Alright, so now that's busted open nice and, and good and it actually pushed it down a little, which is good as well. Um, I'm going to add our worms along with, oh, let's see here, the orange skins. Got all the worms out of there. And there's some eggshell in there, which is good for the grit. Um, but there were a number of volunteer worms, mainly euros. I'm continuing to bait them out of my finished compost um, tote, so they seem to be doing relatively well. Um, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of coffee and then we'll top it off with a little bit more leaves and uh, leave it for another week or so and follow up. So let me add that and we will wrap it up. I love the fact that despite being in the 20s at night, I'm finding worms under my bag of leaves every day. Um, I did add those coffee grounds, uh, not all of them, but a good amount. Um, and I actually poured some water over them from a tote I had sitting out here um, that I collected some rainwater. There were actually some worms living in it, so even though it was full of water, I guess it was aerated enough that the worms were alive, so I dumped them in here. The rest of it I dumped out on my lawn. But um, now I'm going to take some of the drier leaves and top this off and hope Sorry, so now I'm going to top this off with some drier leaves um, and see if they, that will kind of help hold the moisture for the uh, pumpkin to break down and so that the coffee doesn't dry out. Um, and hopefully we'll start heating up. So let's add that real quick. All right, guys, so here's our finished product. I topped it off with just dry leaves. I got rid of those little plastic air pods. I didn't think they were doing us much good. Um, so I figured just get rid of it and top it off all the way pretty much to the top with leaves. And I put our um, thermometer straight through the pumpkin so it's going to be right in the middle of the action so we can see how well things heat up. So it's still in the 40s here um, but hopefully we will continue to warm up and maybe be able to keep this steadily around at least 50. If I could get 60 I'd be thrilled. Um, but we're just going to take it a day at a time. I have to go wash my hands. Strangely enough, I'm a little bit of a germaphobe when it comes to that stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, this looks great. So let me know what you think. I will link below the insulation that I'm using and um, the alfalfa meal, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys real soon for another update.